Il est 10 heures maintenant, et n'oublie pas de prendre tes mieux relaxants. Aujourd'hui, le temps est ensoleillé, mais venteux. La température est à 18 degrés. Je te souhaite une très bonne journée. Oh, je sais, Siri. Apparemment, j'ai rêvé de toi hier. Ah oui Et dans ton rêve, je ressemblais à Morgan Freeman <rire> ou à Anthony Hopkins Ah, peut-être Goyo. Ah bon C'est pas le meilleur choix, mais c'est déjà pas mal. Ok, on en parle après. Hello everyone, here we are on One on One with CEOs and pace setters. And here I am, Cynthia Orsha, your host on this podcast. I am actually in Romania and my guest is in Beijing, China, and we are here to connect the world. I am a Romanian by passport, but I consider myself international by my lived experiences. I am the founder of HHO, Hardy Hardy Orphanage, a non-profit organization who strives to provide for vulnerable children in Nigeria. Yes, you heard well, Nigeria. We encourage healthy development and we provide educational opportunities as well as medical aid. We think kindness is a gift that everyone can afford to give. So please be kind. This program is brought to you by Bridge Afrique Media Network and AfriTube TV. If you are a CEO or a price setter and you would like to join us in our next podcast, feel free to contact our executive producer, Mr. Kola Woli O. Michael JP or myself. We will be very pleased to have you in our future podcast in English, French, or Chinese. And now let me introduce our first guest, Alazi Sumaila Rodos from Benin, an actress, a model, and much more. I let you discover her. Welcome, Rodot. Good afternoon. Yes, I'm Rodot, and I'm from Benin in West Africa. Now. I live in Beijing and I'm also studying my master's degree in film and acting. I'm also an actress and an ambassador for culture, mostly between China and Africa. Oh, that's great. It's great to have you here. So um, I know your Chinese name is Mulan, right? Yes. This name refers to flowers, meaning wood orchid. It also brings feelings of strength and victory. Mulan was a name of a legendary Chinese warrior who disguised herself as a man to take her sick father's place in the army, right? So yes. what is the story behind the Chinese name that you chose for yourself and how do you relate it to the qualities of your namesake? Actually, I didn't choose Mulan by myself. I was studying in Benin. I was studying Chinese. And after two months, uh, my, uh, the dean of my school just sent me as a translator to Chinese company. And after being there, it was very difficult to me because uh, the field there was not what I've been studying in school because it is about uh, the road and uh, the, the word they use there is uh, very difficult in French and even in Chinese because I came from a French speaking country in Benin and it was very difficult to me and I told them that I cannot work there because I cannot be translator in this kind of field. I've never been studying this kind of field. And they gave me one week to learn everything in French and in Chinese. And after one week, uh, the director of that company uh, told me that 
have like I grew up very quickly, like in one week I can start talk, translating for them without any problem. And uh, I'm a hard working girl. And since I don't have a Chinese name, he will give me a name, Mulan. And he, he asked me if I know Kwa Mulan. I said, yes, I know the, uh, uh, what is, um, I know it by TV, but not the story itself. And he told me that I need to learn the, the story because you watch the movie. Yes. Pamula is a big character in Chinese um, culture, history. And uh, she's also a um, hardworking, and he hopes that I will learn from her and be the Hwamulan of Africa. So this so is how you learn learned from her, and now you think that this name it fits you, right? Yes, I think Hwamulan uh, now to me is not a character. It is not a woman who disguise who disguise herself to fight for her tribe. For me, Kwa Mulan is a mindset. Kwa Mulan is a spirit. Kwa Mulan is a, a, a spirit that gives me strength to pursue my, 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 my dreams and go beyond my expectations. Yes. Okay, so now let's have a commercial break and we will come back with more about Alazi Sumaila Rodo. about role models now. We all have role models in our lives. Who are your role models in your chosen field? And what lessons can you impart to those who look up to you as their role model? What aspect of your life would you like to share with them? Actually, before I came to the movie industry, uh, my role model uh, has always been Jackie Chan. Okay. Since I was, because, you know, in Africa, all of us, we know Jackie Chan. Oh. And uh, because of him, I had the strength, I had the courage to come to the movie industry in China because especially uh, I've been here for 10 years now. And 10 years ago, it was very difficult for us to integrate in China because uh, they are not familiar to uh, to African people. And uh, for us, I as know, a I know. Yes, I used to live there for 30 years and I know, I know what you are talking about. Yes. And after that, choosing to be in the movie industry is very difficult in any country because it is a it is a, a, a kind of a cycle of uh, not that much people like uh, before you come inside it is very difficult and uh, it is a closed cycle 
Yes. And uh, since Jackie Chan, we know that he made it in the USA and be, like around the world. I have been telling myself that I will come to the movie industry and learn from Jackie Chan. If he can do it, I can do it because I'm sure that uh, when he was in the USA, he like he went through the same thing we are going through here as Africans because you know in the USA in his time it was very difficult to be in the movie industry there but he found uh, his um, how to say it uh, he found his strength and uh, the thing that will make him different from the other uh, actors so I need okay. to find the same the same thing here like that what will make me special what will make me different from other people what will make me very uh, even special from uh, my african uh, actors in china because as a black woman as a black girl uh, we have many black women in china who also wants to be a uh, actress right but what can make me uh, what can make people remember uh, re remember of Mulan as an actress I need to find this kind of uh, 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 like uh, differences and uh, what will make me special from uh, the crowd so I've been learning from Jackie Chan and is my first role model in this field. The second one is uh, a actors from our age, like nineteens, uh, and uh, uh, his name is uh, Johnny Huang, a Chinese actor. What I take him as a role model is because he doesn't have any background of acting. Like from his families, no one was actors and is the first one and he went through many difficulties here like uh, but he never he never like give up and he be he has been working hard and uh, from now is now very respected and we know that when you are new in a cycle you will face Many, many difficulties uh, and when and if you don't give up you will find your way through okay and, and if people want to learn from me first of all we want like we won't go through perfection because no one mm, none of us can be perfect but the thing i like to learn from people is from what i can learn from their mistakes if they are perfect i won't take them by my as role model i want to take people who did some mistakes and uh, from their mistake they have been like that not that they change but from their mistake, how would I, um, how to say it in, mm, please. Um, say it in French. Not even in French, it is that kind of, uh, okay, uh, what I've been saying to myself is that Anytime I will have someone as my role model, I won't choose someone who is perfect because uh, we are human beings and we need to learn from our mistakes. Since they are my seniors, they did, they did some mistakes and uh, for me, I will uh, learn from them. So I won't do the same mistake they, they, they have did. Like uh, when you come to a new field if people they don't like you but you need to be there and and pursue your 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 dreams 
if you did some mistakes, I will learn from them. So as a new person in this circle, I won't do the, the same mistake as you did. So it will uh, take more, like uh, I will gain time uh, and effort to be where I want to be. I don't know if you understand what I'm Yes, 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 I do. But I think we have to learn from our own mistakes. Yes. It's yes, very, we need yes. to. We need to learn from our own mistake, but in the movie industry, you don't have that m much uh, opportunities uh, and chance. I see. If you did two mistakes, two mistakes, they won't give you the third opportunity. Yes. Opportunity, yes. So it is very, you, you, you are here today, you have opportunities, you have movies, but you never know tomorrow. Even in China, like one, like you do one mistake and from like five in five minutes you you just like you you lose everything even your your cons your webos and stuff so it is like uh, okay every time i need to be on like uh, uh i need to be smart and uh learn from everyone like if they did this today and they lose everything i won't do it but do you live with this fear in every day's life just because of this that you are scared that we not get opportunity again or something like this yes i used to be but now i'm like okay i need to be happy in everything i'm doing if it happens it happens and but I'm learning every day, learning Chinese culture, Chinese uh, story, and also African culture. And but African it's, not, story. it's not an easy thing, right? No, it's not I easy. No, as well as you know that, yes, it's not an easy. There are people, they live there for 20, 30 years. They still cannot speak Chinese. They don't understand the Chinese culture. They stay only in expatriate community. So this is not an easy, an easy thing. The thing I've learned now is that don't speak too much. Don't expose yourself too much. And uh, don't try to connect with everyone that much. Just be in your place, learn from who you want to learn, learn what you need to you need to learn and uh, always work for your goal. If you do everything, you go everywhere, everyone is your friend, you speak that much, it will be hard for you because when you want to find problems on something, so, someone, you always find what, what you did wrong. So preserve yourself. Mm. Yes, you're right. And I thought I meditate, I pray, so... Let's go back to Jackie Chan. Could you please tell us how you met? And at the same time, let's talk about the program that brought you together. Um, it was China's Belt and Road Initiative, BRI, right? For who doesn't know, BRI is a plan adopted by the Chinese government in 2013. It's a gigantic plan for a global network of ports, roads, railways, and other infrastructures um, to connect China to the world. What is your opinion on BRI? And how do you think it has impacted Africa? So how do you, um, met, how do you first met you both, you and Jackie Chan? Uh, you know, one, when I want something, I give myself for three months to have it. And uh, one day I was uh, uh, in the barbecue party and I found a friend. That friend was uh, from Hong Kong, is not part of our life now. And um, I told him that I want to meet Jackie Chan. He said, you can do it. If you have that kind of goal to meet Jackie Chan in your life, you can do it, just be believe in it. So from that time, when I find some so, someone in the movie industry, I ask him, 
how can I meet Jackie Chan? And I, and I start searching for opportunities to meet him. So I went to his uh, fan club seats and I told them that uh, I want to go to Shanghai, Shanghai Film Festival to meet Jackie Chan and they just bring me there. That day, he wanted to go to France. So I, I didn't meet him in Shanghai, but in Beijing, I did. And since that day, when they have uh, some festivals, some opportunities to meet people outside, I just go there and I learn from him. I even went to his uh, team in Beijing to learn the martial arts. And also now I'm friends with them, with his team, and I've been learning from them. And for the BRI, it is 10 years now, and it is also my 10th year in China. And for China to the BRI, it is a win-win opportunity for both China and Africa. It depends how Africa will use this opportunity to gain what they want. Because when we want to work with if I want to work with you and we say win-win, but I don't have a goal, you you have a goal, of course, you will gain more than I did, than I want, if I don't have any goal. So, so I think China needs to find the... China needs to... Uh, China, I'm sure they already have... Uh, the mindset of how they will work with the BRI, but Africa also they need to know the role in the BRI. And how do you think it has impacted Africa all these 10 years? Uh, 10 years ago, when I left Africa, Benin, and 10 years after, if I want to go back, and many people, they told me that if I go back to Africa, I want to recognize my hometown, Benin, because uh, they built some road and stuff. And 10 years before, when I was also in Africa, I was working in uh, the road uh, reparation in uh, Benin, and I was uh, translating there in that Chinese company, and it was also a part of the BRI. And since today, they're still there. And uh, uh, I know that they have been working all over the world, but for the BRI, China and Africa, it is a uh, It is something that started now and it has been 10 years, but I want to know, uh, like, for the 15, for, for, for the 15 years anniversary, we will be like, uh, like uh, 60 to 80 years old. But in that time, I need to remember that, okay, uh, when the BRI has started, Benin was that was this way, and Africa and Chinese, we were also the part of uh, the beginning of the BRI. Because 10 years ago, I was working with them, and now it is the 10th year's anniversary. I, I want to be there, even if I will get old in 80 years, like in uh, 50 years, I will be like uh, 70 to 80 years old. And I will tell to my grandchild, like, uh, okay, the story of uh, how the BRI has started. Yes. And I hope you that will have a story to tell. Yes. Yes. And I hope that both Africa and China, they will work hard so that won't break yes we hope that so could you share a little bit your journey so far i mean including the good the bad the ugly it's important for others to understand that life is not always a bed of roses 
So let's see what you can say about. Mm. Okay. Uh, when you have a dream, it is never easy. It is you. You will go through many challenges in life, and uh, if it was easy, many people can achieve can can achieve the goals. But if only the little percentage uh, happens to reach what they wanted as a goal and dreams. And since I came to China, I said no to scholarships. I've never used Chinese scholarship in China, only the first year of, of learning Chinese. And since I start, I've started my field, I've never used the Chinese scholarship and never used my parents' money. And because I don't want people to disturb me, if I've been using the Chinese scholarship, maybe I won't be where I am now. If, I, if I've been using my parents' money, I won't do what I want to do because acting art for African parents, you know, it is not something concrete that we say that uh, with it, you cannot be anything tomorrow. So I have a dream. I know, okay, I will work hard to have money, to get money and pay for my school fees. So from that day, at the beginning, I was a model. And uh, you know, when you are in front of the camera, you need to smile every time. And I remember when my father was gone, that day, the same day I, I need the same day I got the information, the news, I had a job where I need to be in front of the camera for a, for a shooting. And I need to be happy, the smile on my face. Hide, and everything. To hide your pain. Yes. yes. Behind your and smile. From that day, I told myself, okay, if I don't achieve my dream, I won't go back to Africa. And it's been eight years now without me going back to Africa. Oh. And what I've been grateful to is that since I'm new in the movie industry and I'm a girl from Africa, the Chinese uh, seniors, they have been helping me, protecting me and uh, teaching me a lot of things. So I will preserve many mistakes they did. And um, even, when, even when you see in the pictures, you will see that, okay, uh, for the last movie I've been in, it is a TV series. I was the only African actress being there for the big, uh, the big shoot. And I'm always like, Okay, so they see my hard working. Because when you work, you don't know how hard you work because you are in it. You are always working. But when people around you, they see your hard work, it is um, a warm, how to call it? It, it encourages you to, to go harder for your work. And also, I remember last year my aunt came to China and she told me that you don't need to achieve your, your goal before you go to Africa. Your mom doesn't want your money. Your mom doesn't want you to be higher because anyway you can be you can achieve your goal or not, you still her child. She wants you as who you are, and she wants to see you. She doesn't want your goal to be achieved. Just go back and see her. She will be happy. And I'm like, um, just be prepared that if you want to push, if you want to pursue your goal, you will not be happy anytime. Like every time, like uh, eighty percent of your life will be challenged. Yes, and I did understand that your craft actually influenced your lifestyle, right? 
Yes. And your relationship with family and friends. How? How has you your craft influenced your lifestyle? Do you have friends? Do you have time to go out? And and tell me about the impact it uh, how your craft impacted this generation as a whole. Okay, I have friends and we are friends on online because most of them they are the people we knew before I've started the acting. And since I don't have a manager and the agency, I do everything by myself. I go to find work by myself. So I don't have time to chat with people, to go to friends' party and uh, anniversary. I don't have that that much time. But I want from my craft that People in China, they will know Africa, they will know Benin. Someone, there is a producer who told me that from my craft, I need to make Chinese people know Benin and Africa. In my in my circle, when I say I'm from Benin, most of most of them they don't know Benin. Don't know, the yeah. Benin, the Benin they see, like if you say you are from Benin, they will open Baidu or Doin. This is not Benin, this is not Africa. I'm sure that as an actress, the work I'm doing will make me one day get the opportunity to Africa to be known, not only as uh, the promotion by my world, but by the image, by the documentaries and the uh, also by the movie I will be producing or directing one day. This is my biggest dream, to, to produce movies for Africa and also China and Africa relationship. Okay, let's have another commercial break and we will come back with more about Alazi Sumaila Rodot. <sighs> One house, twelve housemates, full of fun, excitement, and love matters. Are you ready? Lagos, are you ready? It's coming, we're coming, it's coming, we're coming. Let's go! Tense as a mystery. Okay, Rodos, we are back. So we would like to know where do you envision yourself in the next five years? In the next five years, I need, uh, I will be known in China as a actress who achieve her dreams. Not, not that higher, but People in China, they will know me as a hardworking actress, a well-known a well-known African actress in China. So you'll still and be in, in China in five years? No, no, I will be between North China and uh, Hollywood. Okay. Because I know my, I believe that I'm an international, I mean I'm from Africa, I've been in China now. I speak French and Chinese. And why not use uh, my my language skills to open the door to myself as an, an global actress? I can be actress in France, in the US, and I will do it. Also, I what will- What about collab- Nollywood? What about Nollywood? What about Nigeria? Yes, I'm going there. 
Uh, and also I will uh, collaborate with um, African actors, producers, and uh, film directors for Africa. And we will produce many stuff there because I don't want to be dependent of uh, African industry. I need to bring something to them. As an actress, I will be chosen, but as a film director or a, a, a producer, I will give in. So for Africa, most of uh, my plan is uh, to bring money or to bring resources to make movie in Africa. But in the US and the China, uh, in China I will uh, show my acting skills. Okay. So what are the top three things you are hoping for, whatever for investors, the government, or well-wishers? The top one is that both of our governments in Africa and China, they work together to preserve the BRI partnership, the friendship. So us as a, a simple like the people in Africa and China, we will benefit from it to build the biggest uh, dreams around uh, the BRI. And uh, also, I want Africa, the African government, the African leaders to know that for a country to, for a continent to be known and being respected around the world, we need to promote our culture. Now, today, most of the people, they watch TV and uh, the, the videos online. There are mm. few people who read books. The same mistakes our ancestors did without writing, we won't make the same mistakes today. Because in hundreds of years after we, we leave this planet, the people who will come hundreds of years after the thing they will learn from us is what, they, what are we going to leave now as movie and uh, videos. They will see, okay, this is what our ancestors were, was living back in the day. The same mistakes uh, our ancestors did, and they let the Western people write our story. We don't want this to happen today. So as part of the, they have been working to develop our continent, Africa or Benin, the same strength they, will, they need to put it also in the culture promoting, on promoting our culture, movies, uh, documentary, any kind of movies, and even now the same movies. When I when I am with my friends, you have been in China. You know when you say you are from Romania, your friend will go directly to Baidu and yes, do it. how yes. But these these videos they are be, they have been taken by other people, not your people. Same in Africa. So we need to invest time and uh, energy and money for promoting Af uh, Africa. Do you have any plan for collaboration with local or global stars that could elevate your craft for the next level? For the local in Africa, I don't have yet. Be but because most of, most of the time I'm in... China, but now in China, I'm working with uh, some uh, medias here in China, and uh, we are working on how to promote the relationship between Africa and China. And since, since it is uh, one of the biggest uh, media in China, I will be there, of course, as um, a host something like that. And also for 
Africans industry, I have I have some connection, but I need to start now. So from my work, then we see okay, this is what what she is doing. Because some people then they want achievement before they believe in you. You know, they need they experience, right? They ask for hmm? experience. Yes, they ask what they ask for experience, but I I have experience. I I have movies here. I'm always in news here, but in Africa, no, because I don't have a lot of connections in Africa. And last time I was with my ambassador who told me that at the end of the day, I need to be known in my own country. Yes. <laughs> but if given the opportunity, which country would you like to visit and why? Which country I will visit? In Africa? Whenever, wherever you, you want to go. In West Africa, since I'm from Benin, I will start from, from Benin. And uh, the, the country I want I mean, to which other country, if today you will have the opportunity to go abroad, which country not, you will choose? Not, it is visit. not a country. Not, visit. It is not a country. In the US, I only like LA. OK. Because <laughs> there, there are. It is a place where I can achieve my dream. It is LA. We all know that. Okay, uh, for um, for the industry around the world, LA is uh, now, all your life. It's this movie. Yes, this is your purpose on life, and you are ready to let behind you everything else, right? For, yes, for your dream. Yes, yes. <laughs> Okay. And yes. You can add more. No, you know when you are studying, when you have uh, a dream to make movie, to when you like movie, it is uh, it affects everything in your life. You take it for, you take it for. It is like uh, a culture and a belief. It is like a faith, you know. I know. Now I, that movie for me is a faith. Yes. You, you have a long road to go. And I'm ready. That's great. Yes. <laughs> we, we all wish you good luck in your life and all the best for, for you know, just to achieve your dream as you wish. And... Uh, we thank you for being with us today, being our guest. Our post ends here. Thank you, dear listeners, for turning in today. And we will wait for you next Friday with a new guest. And surprise, uh, we a surprise for the next for the next week. Next week we'll postcasting from Thailand. And in the meantime, I hope you have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was nice having you. We end always speaking. No, 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 Nigeria. You're the children of Nigeria. The daughters and sons of your land. Oh, how we believe in you. You children of Nigeria. Reach out when we give you a hand. The soul is unbreakable, the sky bows down to gently kiss your cheeks. So remarkable how you stay this strong when the world brings you to your knees. When things get hard, know that home is in your heart. Oh, when things get hard, know that home is in your heart. Oh, na 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 na.
Nigeria, you're the children of Nigeria, the daughters and sons of your land. Oh, how we believe in you, you children of Nigeria, reach out when we give you a hand. Na 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 Nigeria, you're the children of Nigeria, the daughters and sons of your land. Oh, how we believe in you, you children of Nigeria, reach out when we give you a hand.